What's going on everybody? Jesse here. Welcome back to another episode. Today's episode, we are going to create our first C++ project. And as is traditional when learning a new language, we will create the customary hello world functionality. Sit back, relax, and let's get this going. Let's go ahead and load up and start our new project. Select whichever template you want to work with. I'm going to work with a first person template. Come over, select C++, because that's what we're going to be building in. Select the quality and starter content if that's what you want. And I'm going to enable ray tracing in case I want that for the future. Doesn't matter how you set all these. Just make sure you have C++ designated. Pick whichever template you want and then give your project a name. Once you have that selected, go ahead and click create. Project may take a little while as it builds up the project files. Once the project's loaded up, your IDE may or may not load. If it doesn't load, then head on up here to your editor preferences. And in the editor preferences, go ahead and search for source code. And in here, you will see down here under source code, source code editor, and then in the drop down list, find the source code editor, the IDE in which you are going to use and ensure that it is enabled. For me, it is writer, so I will leave it selected as that. If your IDE is not open, you can come up here to tools and in the drop down. I have open writer. You might have it say open visual studios, or you can come down here, open up your content browser. Your C++ classes may or may not be shown. If they are not come over here to settings, open that up. And then right here, make sure you select show C++ classes. Now that your C++ class folder is visible, go ahead and select your primary folder. You will see any template files that you already have activated. Selecting any one of these, double clicking any one of these will open up your IDE. For now, let's go ahead and create our own custom class. Right click in the content browser, select new C++ class. Just like in blueprints, you have all the other files that you can choose here. You can select all classes and do a search from here as well. We're gonna keep it standard today, do comic class, go actor, next. Give your class a name. I'm gonna leave mine default, my actor. Leave everything else standard and select create class. Now that your IDE is open, we should already be defaulted to the class we just created. Make sure you have the .h file selected. Under protected, I'm gonna add a new variable here. I'm gonna make this variable type f string. I'm gonna call it message and it is going to equal another F string. We're going to convert it to text with the text macro. Make sure it's all capitals. And inside the text macro, let's make a literal string. So enter the quotes and I'm going to give this a string of hello world. Make sure you go to the end and add your semicolon. And we've now got our first variable. When creating a string literal, the Unreal documentation tells us that we always need to wrap it using the text macro. Without it, the code that constructs the F strings from a literal will cause an undesirable string conversion. Head on over to the CPP file. Inside the CPP file, locate your begin play function. Inside your begin play, go if G engine, curly bracket, G engine again, add on screen message. First section is the key, negative one. The time we want it to display, I will go 20 point F for 20 seconds as a float value. F color and the color I want will be red. The message I want displayed is an F string. I want the print F function. We will convert this Using the text macro as a string literal, we will enter quotes, percent s outside of the text, comma, star, message. Finish this off with semicolon. Now our code is ready to go. G engine is the global engine pointer. Because G engine is a global pointer, we use the arrow operator to access its functions. In this case, the add on screen debug message. The scope operator designated by two colons is used to access static member variables and functions of a particular class. In this case, we're accessing the function printf of the F string class. The percent %s is a format specifier that tells the printf function that a string variable will be inserted into the F string at this location. The string variable that we will be inserting in the percent %s location is the variable message. We use the star operator in front of the variable name to return the tchar pointer, which is required by the percent %s parameter. Make sure you save the file, head back over to the editor. Once back inside of the editor, come down to the bottom and select live coding, which will compile your code for you. Once live coding is succeeded, open up your content browser, go up to your content folder, right click, new blueprint class, all classes, and search for the name of the new class that you just created. For me, that is my actor. Select that, give it a new name, grab a new blueprint, drop it anywhere you want into the world, save it, press play, and there we go. Hello world. Congratulations, you just wrote your first program. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please go down, hit that like button, leave me a comment if you got any questions. Come on over to the Discord, ask me questions over there. And until the next episode, peace.